G'day folks, welcome to another episode of American Truck Simulator the Lone Star State. We are just, uh, we've just picked up some uh, trucks here at the Western Star dealership. So in the last episode I did mention down here in, Gal in Corpus Christi that would be a recruitment agency and a dealership, which it is, it's the Western Star dealership. We are hauling, you can see in the rear mirror there, don't have to get out USC, we've got three older versions of the Western Star there. We are hauling these, uh, just get turning left, we are hauling these today to Galveston. So there's that song in the radio, Galveston, oh Galveston. So that's where we're heading today, and I've just taken the wrong turn. Uh, so let's just flick around here. And look at that. Speaking of a Western Star, good day, buddy. Beep beep, bump bump. All right, <laughs> right now we're back on track. Okay, so we are taking some Western Stars uh, to Galveston. So nice journey, uh, and yeah, appropriate a Western Star truck taking Western Star trucks. Right, uh, I've done a few truck jobs in the past when it's been in my. Uh, I don't know, McKinney, and I'm being hauling uh, Western Stars or vice versa. So let's go so i am going to bring up the map momentarily uh, i think we are going to take the giveaway here we are a little bit long here but i think we're good I and mean, we've got nothing to hit at the moment apart from grass so well, that's good so once we're on the freeway i will uh roadworks ahead lovely i will bring up the map and we'll see how we are trucking today i've made some adjustments as always to capture some viewpoints uh, and photo uh, trophy hunter um, sites as well. Just get into the proper lane and we are good to go. Didn't see the speed limit here, so uh, road works probably about 50. So we'll just get to 55 for now and we should be okay. Uh, we'll just stick at 50 see what the speed limit is hip ahead so it is uh 55 cool so we'll just jump up to 55 there is the construction to the side of us and in front of us as well for the uh the bridge that's been constructed here in corpus christi which is i mentioned in the last episode uh, i'm hoping uh, scs do what they did for ets with uh, the genoa bridge and they did operation genoa bridge uh where you had to haul to and from certain areas I didn't even look, but I did. Uh, we had to haul from certain areas. Probably don't need to be full right here, to be frank with you. So I'm going to actually jump into the left of the right. Probably doesn't make a difference. But I think see an exit coming up on that lane, I believe. So anyway, yeah, so as I was saying, with uh, G Operation Genoa Bridge, uh, once the bridge in real life was kind of completed, they did a um, an event where you could uh, haul construction material to and from um, Genoa uh, to help in the construction of the bridge. Uh, we're going to chop it down to 50, 60 I believe, 55 here on the bridge. Okay, and there is, uh, so we're going back over the bridge, we're actually doing the same bridge here. We're a little bit closer, I've got a car right on my side there. Uh, there is the uh, Lexington, I believe, uh, to the right of us. I did take a screenshot. I have changed the thumbnail of this episode. Uh, no, the last episode, in a sense. Uh, but uh, yeah, looking at my GPS, making sure I am not going to uh, take the wrong turn. Right, I want to get out of this lane. I want to get into the slow lane. I believe we are good now. All right, let's chop it up. 65. But yeah, so um, I'm hoping they will do something very similar, or pretty much exactly the same, to be honest. Uh, in ATS for uh, the bridge here in Corpus Christi. It was a great event for the Operation Genoa Bridge, so I'd love to see something similar. So, um, and to be honest, I'll be very disappointed in SES if they don't, because I kind of have um, set a precedence uh, to do something similar here. So, we'll see how we go. But let's go, we're on our way, we're up to 65. Uh, just got a car holding, uh, taking jolly old time, going for a cruise, I guess. Shouldn't we just overtake him? Doing 65, so I should be good to go. 
I'm probably speeding it, might be. No, it's 75, we're good to go. Right, let's bring up the map and show you where we're going. So we are doing the ultimate destination here, as I said, is Galveston. We are hauling uh, Western Star trucks. Our total tome left is about five hours and a half. Uh, 285 miles we that's including the detours we have so we're going to shoot down here uh, to uh, another photo trophy hunter thing there back onto the track we're going to dip through here to see and uh, discover this um, look it's probably going to be a dealership or a recruitment agency but it could well be um, a little hidden gem of a uh, viewpoint we're then going to get back on track go up to Galveston now there is a photo trophy here I am purposely going to miss that because I'm I'm going to try and I think we can capture that uh, on our planned uh, next journey, which is going to be to uh, either Belmont or up into Longview because I'm kind of coming back up this way, coming down towards Houston, then back to um, San Antonio, then back up this way anyway. Um, so I'll worry about that another day. It's going to be the NASA facility anyway, which should be quite cool to capture. But down in here, I do believe there is a um, Galveston viewpoint, and I'm, this could be the only thing I can think of where it would be. Uh, and this here is another photo trophy um, achievement there. Before jumping back to Hyundai uh, with our truck. So that is today's uh, journey. It might be a bit of a longer episode. I may actually do what I haven't done for a while and uh, just pop out and let you see some of the views um, as well. Uh, depends on how nice, especially if we do hit some of those coastal areas uh, along here. All right, folks, but we're not too far away from our next uh, little uh, area anyway, I think. So I'm going to put a cut here anyway, and we'll get back to you when we're closer to our next little uh, viewpoint. All right, so we're just uh, turning on to here towards uh, what is going to be the photo opportunity, I should say, a photo trof trophy uh, hunter. So I believe it's just a port here. Uh, we'll find out. I'll get nice and close to whatever it is. Probably this facility here uh, to our right. So I'll cruise close to it and then I'll uh, pop out, get my camera out, take a photo. And we'll see how we go. So I believe it's the port, is it? Halliston? Or Burton? So it looks like it's straight ahead there. Uh, probably those big ass cranes. Um, so we'll see how we go. I'm gonna just uh, now. I do believe for now we can keep going through. So, all right, let's see what it is and uh, pop out here actually and just bring my camera out. Wow, this looks impressive. Oh, it's the oil rigs, I believe. Yeah, the oil rig over there. I believe that may be what it is. So we'll get forward. Let's see if they'll let us in. Yep, they'll let us in. <laughs> it's like, uh, did you order any trucks, Ron? No, nah, don't think so, man. So we'll go down there and have a nosy rosy anyway. So I will pop out. See you shortly. All right, so I'll put it on screen now. It's the heavy lifting device. It's all those cranes and stuff there, you can see. Uh, right in front, the big big things there. It's heavy lifting device, trophy hunter. So uh, that's what we've got. So I'm just going to follow the road here. Does, do, he did tell us to take a U-turn, but um, it looks like we can probably get out down here, according to uh, the map anyway. So we'll see. But uh, I'll catch you later when we're on the highway, probably closer to our next uh, viewpoint.
All right, folks, so there's the viewpoint coming up for us. Looks like it's going to be here, over there. I just signal our attention, I think. Oh, jeepers. <laughs> Looks like it's in here somewhere, folks. Oh, what the is this, ladies and gentlemen? We've discovered a secret passage. We must explore. Well, we'll take care of this business in front of us first, huh? All right, there we go, folks. Let's start her up, and it's just I'm I might get stuck down there, uh, but I, I actually got a feeling I might know where this road leads to. So we're going to find discover our first hidden road in Texas. So let's get going. And we'll just see where it leads us. No, don't mind me, folks. Just coming through. I guess we can go down there as well. Yeah, that leads back to the main road. All right. Um, and that's how far it goes. Okay, cool. <laughs> we don't have to reverse a little bit. It should be good to go. So it was as I thought. I thought we might be able to be a go straight ahead. So it was just a link, a little dinky road, but it's hidden road nonetheless, folks. There we go. Uh, so we discovered a hidden road. I will take that any day of the week as a little bonus. A hidden road? It's a hidden driveway, really, in my Well, never mind. We're good to go. Swing wide. We've got no problems there. And we're good to go. Let's get back on track. <laughs> so, nice. Nice little city, coastal city here. Uh, as you can see, beautiful. Bit of a camper van sort of a deal there, a little bit of a boat building, nice, nice and coastal. I'll pop out, uh, yeah, we'll enjoy this, I think, for a little bit. Um, I think we're going to go a little bit inland. Yep, we are going to go a little bit inland now, so uh, I'll make a cut here, guys, and we'll get back to you when we're a bit closer to our destination. Stay right. All right, I actually probably need some fuel, so I might nick in and get some fuel. Anyway. We've got the flashing lights, we're good to go. Catch you soon.
Right, so I'm going to get fuel here. Uh, yeah, we, as you saw, we, uh, if I didn't, I'm not sure if I cut that yet, but uh, we kind of are running out of fuel, so we need to come in here and grab some, get some drink for the truck. Should be good. And then we'll be on our way to Galveston, so I'll spot you when we're approaching Galveston, folks. Yep. Alright folks, somehow we've managed to pick up Houston on the way, so Lone Star State Discovery there. Uh, Houston discovered, interesting, uh, if I don't slam into the back of the car. So this is where we are, I didn't think we would nick into Houston so soon, I mean I know Houston's a massive city, but I kind of, I didn't even come to my mind that we may even hit uh, Houston technically in the game. So that's Houston, we got a little bonus there, uh, but I still want to deliver to Houston anyway, so uh, yeah! Welcome, welcome to Houston, I guess, yeah, nice little plane there, uh, back there's a NASA sign, um, some little airstrip, Come, Houston airplane, air, air there, and uh, yeah, so welcome to Houston, <laughs> I mean, yeah, we'll take it, right, we'll take it all the time, a little airfield or some sort there, stay in my lane, folks, okay, so welcome to uh, Houston, <laughs> I think Galveston is just around the corner, or it literally should be, so I uh, might as well stick with me, uh, so we don't have to keep, have another surprise, uh, welcome to Galveston, uh, so yeah, but okay, uh, welcome to Houston folks, nice, okay, there's another NASA sign, alright, so we kind of uh, tin ass ourselves into Houston, which is quite cool actually, um, and now we are going to head towards uh, Galveston. I mean, I'm not from the area of Texas, so I presumed I knew Houston would be close, but I didn't think it would be triggered so close. Uh, but hey, fair enough, I'll take it. Uh, so welcome to Houston, and let's get into uh, Galveston soon, folks. Might as well stay with the drive. We're not far away, I don't think, at all, anyway. Yeah, about uh, three minutes from my destination, so... Can't complain. It wants us to get it to the left. I think we are clear. Duncan no does there, so. Excellent. And let's see if we can try and not get lost uh, on the stretch either. Because I have made some adjustments, obviously, to our destination. We, I think we would have taken, just by default, we would have taken that on ramp there and cut across to the left, I believe. Maybe it was a bit earlier, later on. Uh, to our, def our actual delivery point. I think it might be further down the line, but uh, regardless, this is how we go. So let's pop out and let you have a enjoy a little bit of Houston slash going to Galveston. Uh, weather could be better, but uh, hopefully you can hear me. There we go, folks, officially into Galveston, according to those signs there. So go right here, this is what we need to be doing. So we are in Galveston, there it is, Galveston discovered, Lone Star State, 10 out of 29. Now I need to slow down. <laughs> Alright, so we have discovered the viewpoint, and it is down here as uh, expected. And it's getting late, we've taken a bit of a trip today. Uh, we are going to try and hopefully not get ourselves into too much of a kerfuffle here. And I'm hoping this is the discovery. Uh, this is a viewpoint, like I said. Uh, but I'm hoping... Oh, there it is. All right. Um, we'll swing wide this way and we can cut through. We'll probably take the road up, but... Ah, that's all right. 
We're just tourists. All right, that was Galveston. I actually quite like that. Uh, some statues and uh, memorials, I guess, like uh, kind of a nice old, old style city, coastal city, obviously. Um, I believe it's on an island, is it, uh, off the coast of uh, Houston? So, but anyway, we need to turn down here. So we'd normally be going straight ahead, but I am want to capture uh, that photo opportunity anyway, and I'm gonna take you along with it. You're all right. So we, as you can tell, the sun is kind of going down. Uh, we are good. All right, let's jump out. It's going to be across the road. I think it's that building there. That's, I can only think it is probably that building. Um, I don't know what that building is, but uh, we'll see. It's the only thing I can think of. So Maybe not. I just want to get in that left lane. See if I can. I think I probably can nick it here. Just cut off that truck. Yep. No, it won't be that building. Uh, something further down. It could be that church there to the right, but uh, the, the historical marker or the camera marker is on the other side. But that's a nice, interesting cemetery there. And I guess I don't know what we're passing here to our left. Our uh, right, sorry. Well, that is obviously a church, like I said, the old, uh, the old cemetery. Yeah, it looks like it's probably... Oh, it's that old house coming up, I think, on the left. that might be related to that... Uh, what's that statue? If you, look, I don't know. If you know what all this is, these landmarks, please, and if you know a bit of the history, entail and trail, inform me of what they are. I would love to know. Possibly it could be this uh, statue right here in front of us, too. So this is brilliant. I'm going to pop out of cab here for this, so we can kind of just get a bit of a, a beauty of the downtown... And like I do believe it is probably that building there, so uh, I'll probably try and get out. All right, so we're just going to go through here. Uh, so red light parks. That's the Catholic Church there, on the, uh, coming up on us on, on the side here. So we're going to pop out and take a photo of that. So there's that church there. Uh, you can just see it there on our left. Uh, so I'm just going to get a closer shot, get closer to it, and try and get a better shot, but. Uh, We'll stay on the outside cab view here because uh, you get to see a little bit of around town. All right, so we're done. I'm going to turn the loop around and then we'll uh, get back to our destination now, folks. So a longer, a longer drive, uh, a little bit of a ticky tour, but I do. I'm enjoying the extras that one point uh, was it four six has, has brought out on us. Oh, I don't know what we're hitting there. Probably just curb stops. Doing some curb stumps there. No damage though. So we should be good to go. 
So I took a good photo of the church. I'll bring it up on the screen as well. Uh, so that adds to the uh, photo hunter. Avid historian number one of 30. Now you may not see it in the screen, in, in the um, Galveston viewpoint. But all these extra um, achievements kept popping up. Uh, the truck stop one, special sort of achievements. So um, I, I, I won't be able to hunt through and get them all. I'll keep, just put the main ones in here. Uh, it's just, yeah. So I, uh, if you deliver, if you just ch trigger that viewpoint here in Galveston, you get a whole heap of um, Steam achievement progresses towards varying, uh, well, Steve achievements. So it's quite cool, actually. They were all popping up. I don't think that will transfer in the video because uh, it's a Steam overlay and I don't have that showing. So um, we'll see. But, um, yeah, there were a lot of them kept popping up. So I think about nine in total. They weren't all, you know, being completed, but they were just uh, progression ones. So very cool. All right. So as you can tell, the daylight is fading. We won't have to park. This will be a straight, simple park. I know this is a longer episode today, folks. Uh, this section, I think, is around 16 minutes already. So we are going to... I'll just make a quick cut here. Uh, as we go towards our destination. We're not far away now, but hey, we'll see you when we get to pulling up to the gate. Oh, all right, folks, we're into the port of Galveston. I've just got done for running a red there, uh, the arrow, and of course, uh, the cop was actually on the other side of the road just waiting at the lights that I should have been stopping at. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he lit everything up and the sirens were blaring, but uh, never mind. It's been a while. Get through here, fine. So we are in uh, the Port of Galveston dropping off our um, Western Stars now. Very nice. We turn left straight here. The right, sorry. So we've timed this quite well. I know we took a bit of ticky tours around, just but discovering and exploring, but I'm going to be doing a lot of that in Texas. And to be honest, a lot of that from now on and the other states I really do want to go through and get a lot more of the things there too uh, so here we go let's see where the guy wants us just there not a problem we can manage that very thin Should be good, actually. Come on, trigger. There we go. Right, we made it. Okay, shoreside delivery number two of eights just popped up. So we got a, we got one just before, like I was talking about. One of those popped up before, but anyway, we've also got the obviously the um, viewpoint achievement, and we've also got the Lone Star State achievement popping up as well on screen for me. But, okay, so slow, short little drive, 22,000 power, US dollars, just over 1,000 XP as well. Some diff proficiency bonuses and whatnot there. So not too bad at all. Took us a bit longer than it would have been because we did some tiki touring. That's what can you expect. Now, going in towards the actual cruise in Texas, that's just ticked over to 6 out of 15. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all the ages. We are, I think we are, we've been, yep. We're still hooked up to the trailers there, as you can see. Uh, what a, it was a good drive. Nice little port here. Can't complain at all. We'll get a ship in the background. Might even be a screenshot, but it probably won't be. I'm working on the screenshots. I'd love to get some feedback from you guys on those as well. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all the ages, I hope you are all doing well. I hope you have a fun time. Take care of yourselves and each other. I am Parker. In the meantime, take care. Kia kaha. Long episode. Yeah. Enjoy that. I love the tiki touring. God, I love Texas.